Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It's a kit in 170 second scale which copies Tupolev uh, 22T, it's a Soviet torpedo plane in a 170 second scale and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff because that's the final version of this kit and it will be interesting to see what is included in this new boxing because it should copy the uh, torpedo aircraft from the second half of the 1940s. Uh, you should get the two torpedoes inside together with the uh, clamps and there should be three decals options as far as I remember. And the main, I would say, uh, point about this kit that this is not a completely new plastic and I would say it might be well known for some of you because it was on the market for quite some time and uh, you might have have had experience building it but today we are having a uh, let's say a review of this 2t version and as you can see we have a really beautiful box art on the front of the box here is comparison with my hand i would say it's a standard size box for icm and on the side you'll find some information about the real aircraft as well as the information about the kit and here this time we get a really nice contrast so it's white a font on the blue background so it's easy to read but I have to tilt it because I'm reading it upside down so there are 133 parts and length of the finished aircraft will be 192 while wingspan is 262 so quite impressive size for a 170 second scale model and here on the opposite side you can see two marking options which are included here but as you remember we should have three in total so I wonder if the third one will be hidden in the assembly manual we will check it as well in the video review now I'm going to cut through the stickers which are used as a seals and they will give you an idea usually if the kit was opened before you or it was supplied to you intact and of course it was if it was opened it's a good idea to control everything and check if all parts are intact i think it will be a really wise thing to do okay so now i'm cutting the final one box structure is typical for this brand we have a color printed top cover it's easy to lift off and as you can see it's flexible it doesn't provide any protection what is storing the parts is this white cardboard box and if I open it here you can see that there is not that much of space I would say the height wise as you can see it's almost full but as you can see all parts arrived to me intact so there are nothing to complain about at least in my opinion so just give me a second to open this plastic bag and we will start the review actually it is quite interesting that ICM decided to revisit the previous kits which were produced under their brand maybe it's uh, just the right time the right moment who knows but still it would be good to see what is actually supplied here so uh, first of all we get a sprue with visage halves and as you can see here we have both house molded without tail section here tail fin I mean and nose area is pre-molded so you have to be careful in this place here we have the tail wing with this uh, special band just like on the real aircraft we have separal, uh, separate engine gun doors and the external feature as well this thing actually hints at the age of this kit so you can see there are not that pronounced features and that's why it might be a bit tricky for some Madeira so I would say straight away looking at the fuselage parts this is definitely not a model for beginners especially if you are planning to get something nice you have to invest some time and skills here inside you can also see that we have guiding elements which is really cool in my opinion and the same applies to this engine gondolas you can see that there are also alignment pins and it will help you with overall assembly process because it will be easier to get them together and also not to waste your time trying to align them between each other okay next we continue with another plastic sprue and here we have quite interesting molding quality i was just checking everything together but now we can check it 
uh, together here. So uh, you can see that we have landing gear wheels, we have landing gear legs molded together with brakes for landing gear wheels. It's quite interesting design. We have small amounts of flesh. It's not serious in my opinion, so I wouldn't even mention it as a issue. We also have some cockpit parts here, cockpit four. And I think it's worth zooming in so that you can see all this stuff in a bit more uh, closer view. So here you can take a closer look. And in my opinion, all these parts, they look quite good. So maybe the landing gear wheels, they will be worth replacing because they are quite big for a 170 second scale. And once you replace them, it will be a noticeable upgrade. By the way, this bar, I guess it will be used in order to support the wing from both sides and here you can see the bombs which are molded together with tail fins and here we continue also with this landing gear legs as you remember they're molded together with brakes and this is actually yeah the central spar which will be holding as you can see even the landing gear parts which are pre-molded on it this is quite interesting design so be careful with it and pay attention to the overall molding quality as for the uh, torpedoes. So these ones, I guess, they're based on the recent releases from ICM and I was wondering why they are so eager to produce various types of torpedoes. Well, that's why. You can see that there are two torpedoes supplied in this kit and these ones are definitely new tools. You can see how quality differs from what we saw before. They are quite nice and sharp. And if I flip it over here inside, we have some guiding elements so it will be easy to get everything into the right spot. Really nice work. Next we continue with the uh, clear sprue which is packed into a transparent plastic bag. So I'm going to open it right now. Here we have some canopy parts and here they are. So again, clear parts, they hint at the age of this kit. I wouldn't say they're really ugly because as you can see, plastic is clear and crisp, but the framing could be a bit more pronounced in my opinion. And I'm not sure if masks will be included, at least masks templates, because this canopy is a bit tricky to get everything masks with your own tools and hands. Okay, we zoom out and here we have another last gray plastic sprue. So this one is dedicated to wing parts. I would say the overall design is typical. So each side should be glued out of two halves. We have separate ailerons. We even have the uh, flight crew figures, which is quite surprising to be honest. And it's not mentioned in the box or kit description. So here you can see external features. Again, they're not that pronounced even though they are present there. And it would be a wise idea maybe to rescribe it if you're brave enough. By the way, here you can take a look at the pilot figures. And next we continue with machine guns, propellers. Here we have some parts for the engine coatings. And if I flip it over here inside, you'll find some guiding elements for wing parts. They're placed on the leading edge. And here, by the way, these pilots, you can see them from the front side, let's say from the face. Okay. Next we continue with assembly manual and here we have the decals which are hidden inside. So decals are printed in a quite nice quality and as you can see we have here all necessary symbols for the external features. We even have the decals for the instrument panel. But obviously if you would like to have a better view of the cockpit you have to get some seat belts maybe some side panels and also various stencils, who knows. Next, we can actually take a look at the assembly manual. So I will close the lenses, zoom out as much as I can. It's a typical ICM brochure. It is printed in color, so it might be familiar to you if you already assembled some of the ICM kits. We have here two uh, short history notes about the aircraft, technical specifications, colors chart. Next, we continue with the parts map. So red color means that these parts will not be used. As you can see, these are bombs. And assembly process starts with the cockpit. Then we continue with uh, the engine gondolas. This is quite interesting. It's just jumping back and forth because next we continue with the landing gear. Then we assemble the tail landing gear. Then again, we start working at the cockpit. And then we join fuselage halves together. 
and <laughs> it looks a bit weird to me. Do not forget that you have to drill the holes in order to install the torpedoes because otherwise it won't be possible. And here uh, on the step 9 we uh, install the tail fairings, then we continue with engine gondolas, so engine gear, propellers and also canopy parts. Torpedoes are assembled here installed uh, with explanation of the 3D images. This is quite interesting and I would say unusual a bit for ACM. Next we continue with the uh, cover profiles. So first marking option comes from 1940s, another one from 1950s and another one from 1940s here. So three marking options in total and they're quite different so it will be interesting to choose something out of them. And as for the whole kit, it should be already available in all good model shops. For example, Modelium X will have it for sure. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.